Hey guys, I'm Bunny from BunnyKates.com. I'm your host here on Bookish Days on Fridays. Hey guys, this week's topic is books that surprised me. Um, just a quick warning, there are going to be some spoilers. So, the first book I wanted to talk about was The Help by Katherine Stockett. Um, I normally would never have picked this up. I was actually at my aunt's house looking through her books to find something new to read. And she handed it to me and I tried to give it back. I didn't know why she was giving me this kind of book. And she just kind of looked at me. She gave me the look, you know. And she was like, read it. Just just read it. So I took it home and read it. And I just, I was blown away by it. I really connected to the characters. I cried toward the end. I was sad when I was finished reading it. I felt like, you know... I had closed in the chapter on some friends. So it's excellent. Um, it's just contemporary fiction. I think you should check it out if you haven't read this one yet. The River of Time series by Lisa T. Bergeron. This, I actually won, I saw on Twitter, the author said, if anyone would like to review my new book, um, message me. Well, I retweeted her message thinking I could find somebody to read her book. I didn't know anything about it. So she offered to send it to me since I retweeted. And I said, sure, and send her my address and send her the link to my blog where I would be reviewing it and stuff. So she messaged me after she went and looked at my blog. And she was like, oh, my gosh, I hope you're not disappointed in it. I see where you don't like romance. And I was thinking, oh, my God, she's sending me a romance book. Okay, I'm probably not going to like this. Well, so the books show up, and the first one did, and I read it, and I was just blown away by it. There is a little bit of romance in it, but there's time travel, and knights, and sword fights, and all this other stuff going on. And it kept reminding me of the, um, the Timeline book by Michael Crichton, and that's probably my favorite movie is Timeline by Michael Crichton. I could watch the thing a thousand times. And the book really just had that kind of feel for me. I couldn't believe how much I liked it. And she couldn't believe how much I liked it. So she ended up sending me um, the rest of the series. Okay, the last book I wanted to tell you guys about was Graveminder by Melissa Marr. This thing, I, I, I don't know. I saw a conversation going on on Goodreads where these people were just flipping out on each other, you know, back and forth. It's not a zombie book. It's a zombie book. You know, it's a, the reviewer had said it was about zombies and people were flipping out. It's not a zombie book. Why would you say that? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I read this thing. and I'm sorry, dead people rising from the dead, wandering aimlessly around town trying to eat you. If it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, chances are it's a duck. You know what I'm saying? It is kind of a zombie book. But with that being said, it is not scary. I cried so much through this thing, which is another funny thing. Because if you look at the other reviews, nobody mentions that this thing is sad. Nobody says, this book made me sad. And I cry. I was crying so hard one day. I had to put the book up and go in the bathroom and wash my face. It's just sad. It made me cry. I can't help it. But yeah, I mean, this book for me, I just think this was an awesome YA book. I really connected with the characters. Somebody dies and it just breaks my heart. And then you have all this, you know, paranormal stuff going on. There's the other world and Mr. Death and all that. Yeah, this to me was a great book. I was not expecting to cry at all. The reason I picked it up is because those chicks were fighting over whether it was a zombie book or not. So I figured it was going to be, you know, like a uh, post-apocalyptic zombies, you know, walking dead. That's it for me this week. I'd love to hear what books surprised you. Leave me a comment down below or do a video response.